Let's check out your future track as we make our way into the overnight hours tonight by midnight and the early wee hours of the morning. Showers and thunderstorms will be developing across the area. It won't be anything severe, but locally heavy rain will be possible as we head toward three o'clock in the morning and then for the morning commute. It's going to be a close call. Eastern half of Central Texas, you're going to have a mess, but west of I-35, we may start to clear out here just a bit. At least the rain, the clouds will remain and likely some drizzle as well. So just plan a little extra time to get to work in school Wednesday morning. Then as we see head into the afternoon, the clouds will likely stick around through lunchtime. We may see some clearing though, especially west of I-35 during the afternoon hours with a few peaks of sunshine. Then a cold front will be moving in from the north. You can see just bringing a few clouds with it by 7 o'clock Thursday morning, and that will keep us chilly, but mostly sunny as we head through Thursday. As far as rain totals are concerned, it looks like that we're going to be seeing maybe up to one to two inches of rain from Waco to Corsicana to Hillsboro down through Grosbeck and Marlin. This is probably where the heaviest rain is going to be across the northeastern quadrant of central Texas. Still some decent rain, though, down in the Brazos Valley with over an inch of rain back through Colleen and slightly lower amounts as you head near Lampasas and San Saba. And checking out your first alert 10 day forecast, 57 degrees, a good chance of rain Wednesday morning, maybe a peak of sunshine into the afternoon. Then we get to Thursday, 51 degrees for high, mostly sunny sky. Same for Friday. And look at that morning low, 28 degrees. So another decent freeze on the way by Friday morning. Then we will see temperatures start to creep back up. 63 on Saturday, 71 Sunday, 20% chance for maybe a sprinkle or two. But it does appear that the bulk of the rain will hold off until next week with our best chances by the middle part of the week as another cold front moves in. Keep it right here on First Alert 25. I'm Chief Meteorologist Matt Hines.